Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to control servo. Okay, let's go. Servo is a device is quite similar with the step motor, but it isn't exact as the step motor. Okay, this is the inside of servo. This is the control circuit. It is integrated from edge bridge. The edge bridge is the circuit we usually use to control the motor. That's just a circuit to help you open and close the control signal from the microcontroller. Okay, the servo to control the servo, we will use the PWM to control this circuit to control the control circuit. And the control circuit will control the DC motor and potentiometer at the same time to operate the gearbox. Okay, the potentiometer will affect to the angle and the DC motor will affect to the speed and the gearbox can up to 60 RPM. There are many types of servo but I have some popular servo like this. The first is blue servo. This is the cheapest servo and the quality is quite good. It can pull about 1.8 kg when we supply it 4.8 voltage and it can be pulled 2 kg when we supply it 6 voltage and this just uh, approximate maybe it can pull 1.5 or higher okay because it's just approximate the blue servo can rotate from minus 90 to 90 that's a 180 degrees when you plus it at each other and the next is black servo it's more expensive a little bit but the quality is more stable and it can rotate approximate 200 degrees okay the information as same as with the blue servo and the information right here is just a approximate and it's just a theory okay and the last one is MG996R this is the most expensive in three types but the quality is good and it can be pulled stronger when you supply 4.8 voltage it can be pulled 8 kilogram and when and with 6 voltage, it can be pulled 10 kg. And the angle also 180 degree. There are some type of servo 360 degrees, okay? But I just use 180 degrees to make an example for you. And in this video, I will use the black servo to make an example. First of all, before we use PWM to control the servo, I will create a PWM signal by set height or low level the digital signal from the Arduino with the function that it delay microseconds and this is the time parameters we will transfer the time parameter to right here okay this is how server work we use period is 20 milliseconds if you want your server is rotate to zero degrees that is called minimum pulse. You have to make an output as the digital pins is high in one millisecond, and then off. It means uh, make an output low voltage in the 19 millisecond left. And when you want your servo is at the mid, is it 90 degree? You have to make an output as the digital pin at 1.5 millisecond. And the other, when you change to 180 degrees, you have to make an output is 2 millisecond at high voltage, okay? And low voltage is 80 millisecond. Okay, that's it how to control the servo by digital signal. Okay, now let's check the diagram. I have a diagram right here. Uh, the servo has three pins. The orange is the signal. I will connect to the pin 9. Uh, you can connect to the, the other digital pin, okay, but I will connect to the pin 9 for the PWM function after that. And the mid is the red, the red is connect to 5 voltage, and the last one is ground. Okay, let me pick the circuit. Uh, I have a black servo right here, and it also have 3 pins, orange, red, and GND is corresponding with the uh, signal VCC and GND, okay? And I have also used three wire as the diagram that is red, green, and black. Okay, now we'll connect to my servo with red is VCC, green is signal, and the last one is GND.
Okay, now connect to the Arduino. Signal to pin 9. VCC 5 voltage. And the last one is GND. Okay. Okay, before we control, I have some code right here. This is the code to control the servo by digital signal. I use pin 9, so I will make the pin 9 as an output. Next, in the boiler function, make a high level at pin 9 and then delay 1 millisecond. But right here, I will use microsecond, so I will use 1000 right here. And then I will make an output low voltage. But right here, I have to change it to 19000 because my period is 20 millisecond here 20 millisecond 20 millisecond and if I make an output with high voltage in 1 millisecond I have to make an output for low voltage in 19 second okay and right here 19 second okay now let's check okay it's quite approximate with 0 degree right but right here is quite noise and approximate with zero degree so it can run to here okay oh there's something wrong with my server and when I supply is with zero volt zero degree I can move it it's quite hard to move okay now I have to change it to one five zero zero here one a five okay let's check it will rotate to the mid center okay and you see it will, it will move to the center that's a zero degree and the last one will change to 2000 and here is a zero okay let's check it will turn to the left Okay, you see, it changed to the left. Okay, okay. Now we have to control it via PWM, and before that, we have to uh, know what the analog pins. The PWM pins is the pins had a two door before it. Example: eleven, ten, nine, six, five, and three. Okay, just this pin can use PWM to control the server. And to control the servo, I have a servo library in IDEA. We have the servo library inside the IDE Arduino. You have to move to file session, assemble, servo session, and select to sweep row check. Okay, let's check. I have to move to assemble, servo, and sweep. Okay, this is a sample code. So now I will use the new diagram. Uh, okay, the new diagram is also as I with the old diagram. I also connect it to the pin 9. Okay, let's check. See what happened when I upload the sweep project to the Arduino. Okay, my Arduino is rotate from the left to right and then from the right to left. With my servo, on the right is 0 degrees and on the left is 180 degrees. Okay, remember that. Just my servo. And here, this is some code. The code right here is, is turn, is rotate from the 0 degree to 180 degree. And then it's rotate from the 880 degree to the zero degree. Okay, that means it's run from the left to right and right to left. Okay, it is it right? Now I have another sample. That's it. I'll use the potentiometer to control the servo. Uh, sample when I turn the potentiometer to left or right, the servo will rotate like the potentiometer. Okay, let's check the diagram. 
this is the diagram the diagram is I will connect to Arun to servo and the left pin of potentiometer is 5 voltage and the GND of servo with the right pin of potentiometer to GND and the center pin of potentiometer will connect to A0 to read analog and the signal of servo I will connect to pin 9 okay let's connect the circuit okay let's check my circuit right here I have uh, three pins of servo is connected to three wires okay but 5 voltage I have to connect to the test board because I just have one 5 voltage on Arduino okay and with potentiometer I will use the 1 kilo ohms okay you can use the other value but right here I will use 1 kilo ohm okay we'll connect to test more okay ground of servo I will connect to ground of Arduino and this is the signal of servo I will connect to pin 9 okay now we'll use the yellow wire to connect 5 on that to the potentiometer that's in the left pins okay I will connect to 5 on that here okay now use the orange as the diagram to connect to A0 that is analog pins okay we'll connect to A0 and the last one is ground I will connect to the light right pin of potentiometer to ground of I don't know okay and the last one 5 voltage to 5 voltage here okay you can see it okay now I will call some code for you first of all I have to check the analog read from the potentiometer okay mm, command it delete it I will use the serial monitor to print out the value of potentiometer okay zero dot begin at nine six zero zero bar rate okay right here I will print out I will print out the value from analog at pin A0 okay okay I will connect my Arduino to laptop and check what happened this is the old code but don't worry about that okay let's check so the serial monitor is opened okay this is the value of potentiometer now we'll turn to left turn to left the variable is increase and max is about 940 okay the max is 940 and the mean is 0 okay let's check max again okay max is 940 is approximate with 1020 okay okay now I have to convert that variable to the decrease we want to control okay I have max is 940 and the decrease of us is 180 max mean is 0 right and this variable mean is 0 
okay now we take the 9 four zero divide by 180 okay 940 divide 180 that about 5 okay we will take the integer 5 okay now use 5 to multiply the variable to get the control signal I'll use the sweep, okay? Right here, I will delete. Okay, do you remember this function is control the servo. Okay, now I will have a int variable right here. I will put the name is um, read analog is from analog pins. A zero. Okay, and then convert. I have a variable convert. Convert. Okay, convert is read analog divide by five. Okay, divide by five, and then I will transfer the convert here. Okay. Now let's check. Upload. Let's check my servo. My servo is rotate to left, right. Now I will turn the potentiometer to right. Okay, let's see. Right, right, right right okay and then try again i will turn to the left 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 okay that's how i control the servo from the potentiometer you can use this way to control with the the other analog device you can read the analog signal from the other device and then control the servo to do what you want Okay, thank you for watching the video.